A pretty park with a stormy past is how some people refer to this empty lot in Manhattan Beach's prime location. A plaque commemorates the original owners who operated a beach resort for African Americans in the 1900s. They would rent bathing suits and water novelties to African Americans mostly who came in from all over Southern California because this was the only place in Southern California where African Americans could come and enjoy the water and relax. Unfortunately, the rest of uh, the coast of Southern California was off limits to black people. During a time of racial tensions, the resort came under repeated attacks by the Ku Klux Klan. Developers in the area pressured the city council to take over the Bruce family property. Under eminent domain, they tried to take the property. They passed uh, ordinances not allowing to have any business down there on the Strand at all. Uh, and uh, my people fought them. They, they took them to court in 1927. They were unsuccessful. They only got $14,000 for the land. They uh, took the money and uh, moved out of uh, Manhattan Beach and moved uh, to the east side of Los Angeles, where they lived in poverty for the rest of their lives. The land stood vacant for more than 30 years and was eventually transferred to L.A. County in the 1990s. I grew up hearing about the stories of racism and violence against African Americans in the South. And somehow I thought that didn't happen here. But in fact, it did. I felt there was nothing else to do but to give the property back to the direct descendants of Willa and Charles Bruce. And that initiative got the backing of state representatives who passed a bill that was signed into law by Governor Newsom late last month. After regaining ownership of their property, the Bruce family says the status of the park will not change. It has to be public property uh, and remain open to the public. You know, we don't want to uh, move in and rebuild or anything of that nature you know the main thing is to get the property back back in the hands of our family so that we can start building the generational wealth that charles and willa bruce wanted the family to have many locals chose to correct a historic racial injustice by joining the justice for bruce's beach petition which could set a precedent and a model for other local governments to follow it is tian shan cgtn los angeles